Hi guys, it's still March 13. It's still my birthday. For the second part of my birthday, we're having dinner here at New by Vikings at SM Ara. So on your birthday, on your actual birthday, you get a buy one take one promo. So that's always awesome. New is the lavish buffet concept of the Vikings Restaurant Group, which differentiates itself through gourmet dishes, elegant interior design, plush seating, and live entertainment. It is located at the upscale SM Aura Premier Mall in Bonifacio Global City. There are nine live food and drink stations with more than 300 dishes and drinks. The nine stations are cold appetizers and salad, Japanese, beverages, Pan-Asian, Chinese, Grill, Carving, Continental, and Dessert. As this buffet is pricier than other non-hotel buffet restaurants like Buffet 101, Dad's World Buffet, Yakimix Prime, Sambo Kojin, to get the value for your money is more difficult but manageable. Remember that stomach space is valuable and limited, so focus only on the big-ticket protein items and less carbohydrates. The buffet stretches over 100 meters, so it makes perfect sense to wear comfortable shoes. Starting at the cold appetizers and salad station, they used to have New Zealand black mussels, slipper lobster, and crabs, but on this visit only lumpfish caviar. But we made sure to have a few slices of Spanish manchego cheese, which is made from the milk of the manchega sheep breed and one of the most expensive cheeses in the world. The Japanese station may look good from far, but is far from good, as while the colorful assorted makis may tempt your eyes, it lacks the sashimi choices like ikura and uni to take it to the next level. We suggest to stay away from the maki rolls and focus on a few slivers of the mainstream sashimi that they do have, salmon and tuna, and a few pieces of their tempura as long as you grab it once it was freshly cooked.
From the beverage station, you will have a choice of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. We focused on their white and red wines, sake, and imported beer to pair with our chilled seafood and cheeses. They also have ice-cold giraffe San Miguel beer to be paired with the steamed suaje and hot sake with our Japanese dishes and fresh watermelon shakes and infused waters to refresh the palate. Their selection of imported beers include Foster's, Snow, Taiwan Beer, Max, Tiger, and Chang. The weakest station throughout the years has always been the Pan-Asian, as there was nothing that ever caught our attention. And on this visit, the fresh catch of the day was an insulting to the palate cream dory, one of the cheapest white fish fillets you can buy. We spent a good deal of time returning to the Chinese station solely for the crabs. The steamed suahe was overcooked. From their dim sum, only the shrimp dumpling stood out, but we would have preferred the wrapper to be thinner. Take note, if you are lucky and the chef is in the right mood, you can ask him for a special order of chili salt and pepper crabs. From the grill station, the only two items to order would be their lamb kebab and gindara with teriyaki sauce.
Carving stations at buffets are notorious for always serving dry meat as they always tend to get overcooked while sitting pretty underneath 150 watt suspended heat lamps. At Mew, this sadly was also the case, so make sure to choose your cut of the New Zealand garlic and rosemary studded lamb leg with mint sauce and US prime rib with mushroom gravy just so you got your bases covered. The signature dish at Vikings has always been their lechon belly or roasted pork belly and this is worth having at least two servings of as it is crispy, aromatic and just so addictive. The Continental Station has wood-fired pizzas, fresh pastas and stewed European dishes but the only thing we used to gorge on is unlimited foie gras. Unfortunately, it wasn't part of the buffet on this visit. Currently, the only other venue that serves unlimited foie gras is the legendary Spiral Buffet at the Sofitel Philippine Plaza. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that brief tour of the buffet. I didn't cover their dessert, but I can tell you I've been here so many times already. I already know what's good and I already know what they, what's lacking, what used to be a lot better before. Like to start, they used to have foie gras, they used to have slipper lobsters. They don't have any of that now, so it's become a lot more toned down. But they still have some really uh, good favorites of mine, which is the steam suaje. So that's what I got. Steam suaje. We got the baked oysters. And then aside from that, since it's dinner, they're also serving alcohol. And I have my favorite Taiwanese beer. This brings back uh, memories from our Taiwan uh, stopover uh, at the airport, at Taoyuan Airport. So very good beer, very refreshing. Cheers. So from the chilled appetizers, my favorites are the manchego cheese. I'm glad they still have manchego cheese. That's one of the most expensive cheeses known to man. It's a sheep cheese from Spain. And aside from that, I got lump fish caviar with a little bit of uh, lemon wedges. Tonight, I'm focusing only on big ticket items. Bigger than your arm. You're gonna love that part, Alexander. It's so yummy. I don't like it. Really? That's lechon belly. Look, it's crispy. Yeah. 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 I can't even eat it. Okay, try the meat. So 
Andy's having a little bit of the chuck eye, right? Uh -huh. And the beef rib. Looks like beef rib. I haven't tried it yet. But it's like, I don't know, too much fat. Let me also. But the chuck roll is too tough. Too tough. Overcooked. It's like, uh, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Normally that's the case in buffet restaurants. I normally don't have any of the meat because normally it's already overcooked plus it's still sitting under the heat lamps. Sashimi That's good. So we'll do a sashimi, some cold cuts, and you have the oysters. Yes, we have oysters. It was very interesting cheese, very, very gentle light. Sashimi. Uh, salmon sashimi, which is my favorite sashimi. I like them. Um, they have different cuts. Some thinner, some thicker. I picked any what was there. I enjoy so much. Wasabi uh, uh, also very fresh, grainy, airy. I haven't tried any cuts. It'll be later after. After sashimi, but I think it will be nice. They have prosciutto, they have salami, they have chorizo, and some cheeses. Perfect for mine. Great, and if you uh, think about that music in the background, that's a live pianist, which they have in the evening. Okay, it's time for some more sake. The main event for me at this buffet is only one thing, crabs. So that's what I'm waiting for. They're only gonna release it around 7 p.m. So five minutes, yes, yes. <laughs> so I'm waiting for that. And I make sure I grab all those claws and the best parts of the crabs because once they finish a few servings of it, that's it, they're not serving it anymore. It's gone out of the buffet. So I'm waiting now for it. That's it. That's the moment I've been waiting for. Thank you very much. That looks fantastic. My wife likes that part. I'm gonna grab some claws, maybe. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's become a feeding frenzy here. Did you see the battle of the crabs earlier? Oh my god. There are people who are just reaching over my right side, reaching over my left side. I didn't know what to do. I just had to get as much crabs as I could and that's what I got. Take a look. But look at the size of the crabs they have here. These are mud crabs. These are a good half kilo crabs that they have. So I know they might have they, they have uh, eight kilos of crabs tonight. So there might be two or three more rounds. So I gotta make sure I'm there when they bring out the new crabs. But I gotta demolish this first. I'm so happy because crabs are my favorite crustacean. Oh wow, you see that? Look how I got that claw out. That was expert technique. Mm. Give a little bit, but babe, you can have that one. Oh yeah. Claws are always the best part. Mm -hmm. And look. Look at that cute little pincer in there. 
That part you just gotta suck out. Mm. Very delicate. Wonderful. And I got a cold beer too. Cheers. This is happiness happening right now. So bro, how do you like the tempura here? <laughs> is it a crispy light batter? Yes. So just as good as any Japanese restaurant? Comparable. But Nihonbashi is still better. I don't remember Nihonbashi. All right, it's crabs round two and the eight treasure sauce. Big splatter, how was that? Anything interesting there? I see some Hainanese chicken. I just tried soy chicken. A soy chicken. So a little bit of everything. Lamb I see also. Lamb korma. Some of the greatest showman, right? This song? Is that? Oh no, it's not. It's hard to eat, I hate it. This is the parade of birthday cakes. A lot of people celebrate their birthday here. Happy birthday to all the celebrants of the month. <laughs> Thank you. They made a mistake. They both great. Great Chua and a great Ajara. They forgot about Lord. Oh, that's fine. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to me. It's the round of applause. So we celebrate Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. Okay, my second wish of all your bit of crabs. Crabs keep getting smaller. Sake time and the sake is hot. Oh yeah. Okay guys, get your sake. That's for you. Andy. Bro.
Okay, cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, bro. Which one is ours? Which one is ours? And that's right. Me and my bro have the same birthday, March 13. Cheers. Alexandra's practicing her vlogging. So, one other tip here, it's not really mentioned, you don't really know about it, but they serve fresh fruit shakes as well. They didn't have watermelon behind the counter there, so I had to go to the dessert station. I got a few uh, watermelons, and now they're gonna make two shakes for me. So that's a big tip right there. Yes, the watermelon shake. Melon shakes. Woohoo! Up next, dessert. Let's do that again. Let's do that. Let's show that to Andy. I want to show that to Andy. When he comes here, I'll show it to him. Wait, wait, wait. So, can I just show him? Okay, now it's time for the dessert station. The dessert station is massive with local desserts, assorted cakes and pastries, fresh fruits, halo halo, frozen yogurt, crepes, chocolate fondue fountains, churros, and to top it off, artisanal ice cream and gelato. So it's finally time for dessert. Everybody already had dessert. I was too busy deshelling those crabs. It took a lot of time. And you know, what's interesting about the buffet is every time I came back to get more crabs, they became smaller and smaller. So the best is really at like seven o'clock when the crabs come out. So that took a lot of time. Now that's done, I'm gonna have some dessert. You know, I've never really been a cake fan, unless it's like a mud pie or something. So I'm going to have some yogurt and I'll probably try some gelato as well. We've got a lot of new flavors here. Cheers to the 
Cheers. Cheers for the parents. Well, for dessert, I got frozen yogurt, I got ube ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and the last is an avocado ice cream. Maybe some of them are gelato, but I added some leche flan and some sprinkles. But what's really good here, what's always been good is their frozen yogurt. And it really is frozen. It doesn't melt so fast. Mm. We never saw avocado flavor before. Okay, that is a decent avocado. Mm. And of course, it's very good, the yogurt. The white thing? The white thing, yeah. And actually, one of my all-time favorites is ube. Is the yogurt sweet? Not so sweet. So I really enjoyed, uh, well, I think the buffet was decent today. Most important is they had crabs. If they didn't have crabs, then this buffet probably wouldn't be worth it at all. So they had the crabs, that satisfied me. I didn't have any of the meat. Uh, it was mostly a seafood buffet for me. Now I'm just enjoying dessert. Mm. Bro, what did you enjoy about the buffet? I enjoyed everything. Little bits of it. What was your favorite item? My favorite item was <laughs> the gummy bears. And the gummy bears. How about and you, Alexander? Sprinkles. What did you like most about the buffet? Okay. Okay. The, 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 the sprinkles and the gummy bears. We're the same. Good. Andy, how about you? Right. What did you like most about the buffet? Did you buffet? Got sprinkles? Did you say sprinkles? Yeah. Sashimi, salmon sashimi. I don't like it. I only and the wine. Yeah, and sake. That's it, I think. And what? And the, the beefy. Oh, the beefy. 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 Oysters and they like smoking and they like uh, sashimi and cold cuts. It was very small and cute. And of course, I like wine and sake when we drank. And I also like that they have a lot of grilled vegetables. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and many more to come. So, if you're new, please subscribe. Please. Hit the thumbs up button and um, we'll see you guys soon. So, for dessert, Oksana got a coffee and a pavlova. And my coffee. Get started. Yes. I'm curious how that pavlova is. I think it's good. Oh, I love it. I like the, um, the cream on the top is not sweet. And meringue is very smooth, light. It's super perfect pair for coffee. Mew is more than just a Vikings buffet, it's an offering to the gods, a celebration of life, appreciation for food, and a welcome addition to Manila's evolving buffet scene. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, please click on the like button, subscribe, and share with your friends, and feel free to leave us a message on your experience. Saturday night in Rio de Janeiro and we're attending one of the biggest events here in Rio. This place is called the Feijoada Party which only happens two times a year.